Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela. Here to share with you my latest design. I'm going to walk you through this project. For this design project, you know, May is coming up and I was thinking about flowers. I was thinking about Mother's Day and I was also thinking about the gorgeous paper line Stamperia came out with, which is Time is an Illusion. It's stunning. The colors in this paper collection is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it comes with some cut aparts here and then it comes with the double sided printed papers which are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, it, I think I said it on a video that I had done um, before with an album I made with the stamp area line. Uh, I found this, pro uh, this company through Scrap and Create, a retreat I attended, and Daphne and Julie had this paper line there, and I was like, it totally spoke to me. So I got a couple of packs, and this is one of the ones I fell in love with. Anyway, uh, going back to the design, I wanted to do kind of like a steampunk-esque flower, uh, an homage of the upcoming month of May and flowers and Mother's Day, and this is the project design that I came up with. So let me step you through some of the components of the potted flower. I made the flower pot with a treat cup from Celebrate. And let me get the package here. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a Celebrated treat cup set. These were on clearance at Michael's and not not recently. It's been a few months, but they and I think they may still have it, but I picked them up when they were on sale. And I just knew I was going to do a flower pot. And all I did was here's the lid and here's the cup. I turned the lid upside down and I thought it made a really nice version of a flower pot and that's what you see here in the project design. So that's what this is here. And these are some of the cut apart cards that come in the um, Stamperia collection and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. The tags have kind of like that three dimensional look to them. So what I did was I cut these four out and then I made out of some recollections turquoise paper I cut out some photo mats or a journaling card and then I did a half circle on, on the top and the bottom of each tag and I glued that down so that the solid cardstock can just slip right out of the slot there. So that's what's on um, the chain here. I used quite a bit of uh, Tim Holtz products on the metals. I used some Seven Gypsies product as well. I had a key. I, I don't know where I got this key from, but I had it and I put it on there. This right here is from, um, actually, I believe this is a Prima marketing from a long time ago. All I did was on the bezel is I cut a circle uh, from the designer paper and then I used some of my um, glossy accents to adhere it down to the be bezel. I took some gears here from Tim Holtz and I made kind of like an extension of the stem or kind of like a steampunk bud. I took some of my beads from my jewelry collection and I stacked three of them together to make the top of that on the stem. The All of the painting, all of the paste, um, came from Prima Marketing and I used a comp uh, 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 three of three sets. I used the Opal Magic. I used the Patina Effect Paste and I used the Rust Effect Paste all from Prima Marketing. Love these colors, um, love these texture mediums. As you can see, I'm missing two of the jars because they're completely empty. Need to get some more. But I love the look that it gives you, almost like a metal. Now because I ran out of the, the turquoise green color in the patina effect, I just happen to have this 
in my chalk paint furniture uh, redesign and I used it I used it for the blue color that you see here just a little uh, and it gave me the same greenish patina effect I used a star a three inch styrofoam ball for the base of the flower and I coated it with Liquitex acrylic gesso this is my go-to gesso and then for the little textured part of the um, flower I use Liquitex blended fibers I really like this product it adds great texture it's nice and thick but not too thick love it and that's what I use to get the texture that you see on the flower and here's a little close-up hopefully you can see that let me adjust my light so I'm hoping that you can see the texture that I got from the blended fibers from the Liquitex product product I really really like the way this project turned out I look forward to making more things next month with the theme of either Mother's Day or May flowers and I hope you like this too thank you so much for watching if you like what you see give me a thumbs up head over to my blog I'll put a link in the description and see some of the other projects if you're first time coming to my channel thank you so much and have a good day